Hi everyone, I am Pietro Boselli, Dr. Pietro Boselli actually. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about Fermat's last year. He had a hobby, a passion for math, so he would go back home and write his theorems and conjectures. Fermat's notebook had lots of conjectures. He would write down saying, oh, I have an awesome proof of this, but I have no time to write it. Over the centuries, mathematicians went through this book and found proof to all his conjectures, apart from the last theorem. The last theorem was very interesting. Many people attempted a solution and thought they found it, but then somebody proved them wrong. Andrew Wiles discovered this theorem when he was 10 years old and became obsessed with it. He worked in secret because so many people attempted and failed. He found a solution and he presented it to the public and he was acclaimed worldwide. The Queen knighted him and it was a great success until somebody actually found an error in his proof. He was not gonna give up that easily and he worked for another year, full time, and he found the solution. And it goes like this. If you have x to the n plus y to the n is equal z to the n. If n is a positive integer greater than two, this equation is never true. It looks very simple, but in mathematics, proving that something doesn't exist is always harder than proving that something exists. This is a variety of application in cryptography, writing encryptions and codes and all of that, you know, secret stuff. <laughs> uh, and it opened up a whole new world for mathematics, a whole new branch of mathematics.